Welcome everybody, this is your boy Dryda Matolo and we're here with another Grand Theft Auto V PC modding tutorials. Like always, if you like this video, smash that like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more daily gaming content and we're going to get straight into the video. Welcome back guys, this video is all about the RPM gear speed meter timer. So this is a gauge for your vehicle guys, so all you guys got to do is download all the requirements that is inside my description below and make sure that all the requirements is up to date. And once you guys have finished with this, all you got to do is go inside my description and download the gauge. I have already downloaded the gauge so I don't need to download it. So guys, with that said, let's get straight into it. All you gotta do guys is go to your Grand Theft Auto V game, hover over it, right click, and open file location. Now, as you guys can see, I have already got a, got a model folder in here. So make sure you guys install all the requirements first. Once you guys have finished with that, then open up your NSF gauge extract folder. Now you'll come up with this folder over here guys, okay? All you guys gotta do, okay, is select your custom NFS gauge folder and your NSF gauge .asi and .ini drag those three files inside your GTA V main directory also known as main folder exit out of your extract folder now guys the keys to open up the menu is a star, but if you guys want to change the keys, then you guys can change the keys. All you got to do is go to your INI file, which is this one over here, right click and edit with notepad. I will leave notepad inside my description so you guys can edit, uh, edit by using notepad. Now, over here guys, it says a star, see? Press star to open in game menu. So we can change it to like for an example. If 11. Now F11 will be the menu to open up. Or you can change it to A or S or 0 or 1, 2, 3, 4 or whatever you guys want. Okay. You guys can change it if you want to. But I'm going to choose F11. So, uh, so once you guys are happy with what you've got over here, then just save your INI file and then now exit out of your INI. And now all you guys got to do next, okay, is right click on your Grand Theft Auto V game folder, refresh and then exit out of your game folder and right click on your desktop and refresh your desktop. And now guys, I'll see you in the game. And now guys, we are back with Franklin, and now all you're going to do guys is that we're going to open the menu. Now, but before we do open the menu guys, we need to spawn a vehicle. So I'm going to spawn a vehicle by using F4 Trainer V. So I'm going to go and spawn a vehicle guys, just hold on for a minute. I'm going to use the, uh, uh, it's on my screen now guys, so as you guys can see, it does work okay. Uh, when you install it okay so yeah so it's pretty pretty cool guys but you can change it if you want to so guys remember when I change the keys the keys was star but I change it to F11 so I'm gonna press F11 and see if the menu pops up uh, so guys here you guys guys um this is like skins okay uh, skins and, and etc you can change the skins to this one over here See guys, modem, you can change it to modem, or custom, or whatever, see guys, you can change it to whatever you want, uh, but yeah, it's totally up to you, but I basically like a modem, because it's just, you know, plain old. Uh, over here, you can use this guy if you want to, to reset performance settings, and etc. Okay guys, you guys um can play around with the menu if you guys want to this menu is all about the speedo meter there's no god mode or etc or etc this is a speedo meter 
mini. Okay, guys, so yes, guys, that is how you install it, and that is how you um, use it. Okay, guys, so I hope you guys do enjoy it. So, guys, I hope you guys do enjoy the mod, okay? But just to let you guys know that if the mod does crash on you, or if it doesn't work on you, then there is a file that's affecting the mod to work. You guys saw me installing it in my folder, okay? And it did work, okay? So, don't forget, guys, to make sure you have the latest game version, and you have the latest native UI .dll, and even the latest script hook v, script hook v .net, okay guys? Everything has to be the latest, okay guys? So, so guys, I hope you guys do enjoy the video. If you guys did, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe if you guys are new here. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Thank you for watching guys. Peace and I'm out.